Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. Today we will design a simple transformerless power supply with some basic electronics component. Now what is transformerless power supply? A transformerless power supply does not require a transformer to step down the voltage. So the circuit become very cheap and as well not so bulky as there is no transformer in the circuit to step down. The circuit also have some disadvantage like you can supply small electronic gadget with this circuit. Uh, for higher current rating you have to use SMPS power supply or you have to use a transformer Here you can see the schematic of the circuit. The circuit is very simple. Here I have used a 420 kilo ohm register As I don't have a 420 kilo ohm register, so I will use two register in series 150 kilo ohm and a 270 kilo ohm register I will use these two register in series to get 420 kilo ohm so the circuit is very simple i will implement this circuit on this breadboard first i will implement this full bridge rectifier with the help of this four diode before placing the diode you have to be very careful with the band i hope you can see so current can flow only in one direction through a diode so current can flow from here to here with the help of this band I can easily identify that and here in the schematic the band is indicated like this so I can place this diode easily to make a full bridge rectifier now I'll place another diode while placing the diode you have to be careful with the band of the diode so that the direction of the current should be proper now I will place a third diode and this is the last diode now my full bridge rectifier is ready you can see it next I will place this register the register is directly connected to 230 volt AC power source with the parallel of a capacitor which is a AC capacitor and at the output we will get 5 volt as I have used 5.1 volt Jenner diode here you can use different Jenner diode to get different voltage at the output now I will place this register as I have said earlier that I will use two register in series to get this 420 kilo ohm register so I am connecting it with the breadboard first I am connecting 270 kilo ohm register next in series I am connecting the 150 kilo ohm register So after that I will place this capacitor which is a AC capacitor parallel to the register. You can see I place this capacitor with the parallel of these two register. Now this portion is ready. Now I have to place this DC capacitor. I have used a 470 microfarad DC capacitor. The voltage rating should be higher than the output voltage. You can use 25 volt as well, though I have used here 63 volt. So I am placing this capacitor. And to connect the positive terminal of the capacitor with the rectifier I will use this connecting wires now I will place this general diode I have used here a 5.1 volt general diode of 1 watt as it's a diode it's also have a band which indicate the flow of current here you can see the band so we place the Jenner diode always in reverse polarity 
so this should be the positive terminal and this should be the negative terminal of the power supply and this is the band of the general diode so please take care while placing a general diode so i am placing a general diode according to the circuit parallel to the dc capacitor now with the help of this two connecting wires i'll supply some load to show you how the circuit is working and for the negative terminal of the output i have used this rail where i have connected the negative terminal of the capacitor and the anode of the general diode and i have to connect the bridge rectifier with this negative rail of the output so with this connecting wires i am connecting the negative terminal now you can see the circuit the circuit is complete now with the help of this 2 pin plug i will supply the 230 volt ac to the circuit so let me connect the terminal of the ac Now I have connected the two terminal of the AC. Now I can easily supply the 230 volt to the circuit and I will get 5 volt output across these two terminal. So let me check the circuit. Now I am connecting the 2 pin plug to 230 volt AC. First we will see the output voltage with the help of this multimeter. Let me turn on the circuit. Now we will check the output voltage you can see showing 5 volt at output and now at input the voltage is 240 volt as you can see and which is a AC supply so I will connect some load with it let me check on off the circuit please be careful while working with 230 volt AC supply first I will connect this DC motor okay and turn on you can see the motor started now we'll again check the voltage across the Jena diode here to get the what is the output voltage right now you can see at the output we are getting 5 volt DC and we will check the circuit with another load I will use this LCD now let me turn on the supply you can see the LCD is glowing now again we will check the voltage across the Jena diode and it's showing 5 volt so with the help of this simple circuit we can easily make a transformerless power supply to supply some small electronic gadget now if we change the Jena diode the output voltage also get changed now if I talk about the working principle of the circuit here you can see we are fading 230 volt AC at the input so across this register the waveform will be like this AC waveform magnitude is 230 volt and we are converting this AC to DC with the help of this full bridge rectifier so after this rectifier across these two terminal the waveform is pulsating DC like this okay and after this rectifier we have used this DC capacitor to eliminate the ripple of the waveform so after the capacitor the waveform is like this we are almost eliminating the ripple with the help of this DC capacitor and after that we have also used a general diode parallel to the DC capacitor I have used a 5 volt general diode here to get 5 volt output 
so the general diode is maintain a constant voltage at the output so after the general diode at the output sorry after the general diode at the output we will get a constant 5 volt output so from this 230 volt ac supply we are getting constant 5 volt dc supply with the help of the circuit but sometime you will see if you connect any load which required more current then you will see voltage is dropping down at the output you will not get 5 volt constant so then what we have to do we have to use higher rating of the capacitor or you have to use more capacitance at this level and what will happen suppose in the capacitor equation you can see this is the reactance of the capacitor xc and this is the capacitance both are inversely proportional so if you want to increase the current you have to decrease the reactance so you have to use more capacitor in parallel to increase the capacitance here so more current will go through the capacitor and the output voltage will remain constant so either you can use a capacitor having more capacitance or you can use two or three capacitor in parallel to increase the current rating of the circuit but this circuit is designed to supply small electronics gadget for the higher current rating you should use SMPS supply or you should use a transformer to step down the voltage so this circuit is good to supply this LCD or small DC motor and this is a AC capacitor don't use any DC capacitor here and this is a DC capacitor and take care of the polarity of the circuit the circuit will work fine now if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel to get more such videos thank you for watching have a great day